Today, we're gonna change the spark plugs on the Honda Gold Wing 1800. Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Cake. I'm going to be doing the maintenance on my bike. This is Jet Blue. On it myself because I like to do it. You know, ladies, we don't always need a man around or a man to do our maintenance for us or take it to the dealer all the time. <clears throat> you save a whole lot of money by doing it on yourself. The only time I need Rich is to loosen a screw for me if I don't, if it's too tight for me. Then yeah, I'll call him. That's the only time I need his to use his muscles. Otherwise, I do all the maintenance myself on JetBlue. Change the oil, the brakes, the tires, and everything else. But now I'm gonna get started on changing the plugs, the spark plugs on my bike. Changing the spark plugs on the Honda Goldwing GL1800 is a very easy job. Here are the tools you will need to get the job done successfully. Here's what I'll be using. Spark plugs, NGK spark plugs. They come pre-gap. I got them from my local dealer, fairly cheap. Then we have the space gapper, the spark plug gap spacer too. And then I'll be using dielectric connector grease. I have my socket wrench to move it out and a ratchet to move the other nuts and bolts out that I need and a scissor type pick to pick the grommets out of the rubber, to remove the rubber grommets. I also have on here my drill to get the job done faster. I could use my drill for that to remove my foot pegs. I also have my Quinn. It's a, show you what it is, torque wrench. So those are the things that I'll be using. Plus I have gloves to keep my hands clean, a towel to get any debris out of there that I have, and a comfortable chair. All right, let's go get the job started. Here I am, I'm checking the gap to make sure that is to the specification that it needs to be between 1 and 1.0. I'm gonna check all, I'm checking the three on this side since I'm doing this side first. All of them looks good. So I'm gonna start the job now. All right, I'm gonna use my trusty drill here to take off my foot peg rest because I like to ride in style, I mean, re relax. So I'm gonna take it off. There you have it. Whew. That one was kind of hard. The one was kind of stuck in there, but I got it. Let's take that off. Here's the pick, because I need to pick these out right here. Okay, there you have it. I've taken the loose the two at the top and the three at the bottom so I can remove the spark plug cover. After removing the rubber grommets to get to these two bolts right here, I'm using a, a nine, a six millimeter.
just to take this out. There's five of them. So that one. They're pretty easy to take out. And it's an easy job on a scale of one to five. I'll say this is about a one and a half. Should have pulled out the power tools instead of just the drill. There's one. Look at that, it's ready to fall off already. I'm gonna take the bolts all the way out. And the last one. And it comes off really easy. So I want to see, looking to get the, how much dirt is in here, dust, from these road trips we be taking, and it's plenty. trying to clean. I'm cleaning out as much of this dust and sand that I can because you don't want to put no debris in which when you put your new spark plugs in. I don't have my air compressor so I have to use this. You have three spark plugs on each side of, of the bike. They have one, and you can't get them confused because they have long wires called a boot that goes on the, on the cover of the spark plug. So you have a long one, the middle one is medium length, and then the short one right here on the left side. So I'm gonna start on the far end and just pull this off. There it is. Came off fairly easy. I'm gonna take all three of them off at the same time. There's a clamp holding them up right here, the two long ones, and then the short one is just there by itself. There it is. And they all just came off fairly easy for me. And now if you can see in there, there's a spark plug. One right there, one in the middle, and one on the other end right here. So now I'm gonna use my 5.8 spark plug wrench and to get it off, socket to get, to get it off. Then I'm just gonna remove the spark plugs now. to break the bolt, the spark plugs out. Yeah, I think next time I'm gonna get my power tools. And here's what the spark, the first spark plug looked like. I think it was time to change. It's a little burnt, but not bad, not bad. 
And I'm going to take the second one out. Break that one also. And now for the final one on this side. And there's the third one. Make sure there's no debris in there. And have it. So now I'm going to put the first one in. I'm going to put this as tight as it can go, and then I'm going to torque it down after I put them in there. The torque specification on the spark plugs is 13, 13 pounds. You can't be afraid to do your own maintenance on your bikes. It gives you a lot of joy and much that's much more pride, ladies, when you do your own maintenance work. Now I have all three of them in. I'm gonna get my torque wrench and torque it down. Okay, I'm about to torque it down. My torque wrench is a Quinn. It's already preset to what I needed to be at 13 pounds for the spark plugs on the Honda Gold Wings. I'm torquing this to 13 pounds. That's it. When you hear the beeps, beep, 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 beep. That's when it's to your torque specification that you had it preset for. Oh, that one? There you go. And there you have it. It's torqued down. Now all you have to do now is put the boots back on. Yeah, I'm gonna put some grease up in here. And each one of them, there's three of them. So I'm gonna, uh oh. No, I had more than a little dab in there. This is a new pack. And then the third one. I'm putting the boot back on. I'm starting with the shortest one first. I'm listening for a click. There it is. I heard one click and now the middle one. There it is. Pushed it back in the little clamp that it was in and then the final one.
There it is. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm just going to put the cover back on. Remember, we had five bolts. I'm putting all five of them back, two at the top. And the three at the bottom. Put the five bolts back in that I took out in the beginning. About to put the rubber grommets back in. Pick them out, push them in. Now I have the last grommet in. So remember, it's the same exact thing you did on this side, you do it on the other side. It's a very easy maintenance job that you can do yourself. On a scale of one to five, like I said before, it's about a one and a half. You know, I have to take my highway peg back off, so that's the one that I have to put my highway peg back on. That's the only thing left to do. And it's an easy job, ladies. Let's get it done. Do your own maintenance work, and you'll have that much more pride, because you can say, hey, I can do my own maintenance on my bike myself, okay? Now that my spark plugs are done, Stay tuned for my next one when I do my breaks. So, I'm Cake with Boots and Jeans Riders. And remember, if you're out there riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most important, ride safe. I'm out. Peace. Get out there and do your own maintenance work. Hey, everybody. I'm Cake with Boots and Jeans Riders. Today, I'm going to change the spark plugs in my 2015 Honda Goldwing F6B1800. Why, you ask? Because I like to do all the maintenance on my bike myself. Because it saves us, saves us money by, taking, by not taking it to the dealer or having somebody else to do it for me. As you all know, like I said before, I do all the maintenance on my bike myself. The only time I need Rich is to crack a nut or whatever, 